morning everybody thank you so much for being here uh, it's actually a very proud moment for me for many reasons but i think the most uh, proud moment is when my youngest colleague in the bank lubna said every point i wanted to say and i'm not joking it was not rehearsed she had not seen my speech nor had i seen hers and that i think is the signal that i want to share with everybody that the bank is <clears throat> genuinely on the path to being uh what we seek to be the most admired bank uh if the colleagues across the franchise can echo what we think we should be delivering and doing and it comes unprompted i think that's a, a nice signal for us that the bank is on course so thank you lubna for that <clears throat> thank you all for being here i know it's uh, you know it's you could have you could have been in many other places that you've chosen to be here is certainly an inspiring opportunity for us to uh talk about all that we've done and more importantly all that we seek to do uh we have a tight lineup of many sessions so we'll try and keep it crisp and uh to the point as always there's an opportunity to chat uh at the end and of course continue the conversation so let me just share a few thoughts uh, as I, as it comes to me <clears throat> some of you were here uh probably on the same day or around this time 3 years ago only that the direction was that side i think we spoke from that that side of the hall and the slide the last slide of that day was a picture of rahul dravid uh those who know those who those of you who know me or my madness for cricket uh, it's not because i am a great fan of rahul but i think it's because uh, the values or the attributes that we think he exhibits and we want to as a bank uh, exhibit and i'm happy uh, that some of the attributes of consistency credibility highest standards of integrity we have upheld and we seek to do that at all points of time while most of the team's presentations will focus on the numbers and the uh, more sharper aspects of business the few minutes that i speak to you will be actually nothing about numbers uh i have for long believed that if you get the softer aspects of business in the in place and do it consistently over long periods of time the franchise cannot be anything but the most admired and we seek to be that I know admiration is never bought it's earned and it's earned from every stakeholder right? and we've worked very hard to try and make sure that we are well on that course and we keep doing everything in our right and might to make sure that the bank is the most admired these are not light words we don't believe this as a sort of a fad i don't say this in a platform and go away this is what we live by every day of the week every every month of the year every day all the time you touch any point of the bank i'd be surprised if they're not talking of what it takes to be the most admired and i'm spending a few minutes on that only because i believe that it's not just a few things right at a few points in time long periods of time doing the things consistently across all stakeholders is something that we are obsessed about the latest ad campaign and i hope all of you have had a chance to see it and if you've not i think we've failed and you will see it and she mentioned the lines it's about in the in the in the most digital world that we all live and work and sort of are inspired by i believe the future of digital is human which is why we coined the line digital at the core human at the core it's not like we are any less focused on digital in fact you will see that we are at the cutting edge of digital everything we do is uh, inspired by opportunities in digital some of the stalls at the back showcase that some of our partner friends who are here will talk about it and that's not because we are damn good at digital because we think we understand or we want to understand even more sharply what drives it and what does it mean for a human being so that's why i said the future of human is digital and our campaign speaks to that theme now as a senior team as a board what are we focused on right we've we've done reasonably well we've navigated some of the uh, worst uh, world events uh, and the bank has certainly performed i would think uh, materially better than its past materially better than many of our competitors and most importantly our credit quality continues to be pristine and not by any compromise not by any uh, measure of sort of obfuscation but only because it's truly pristine we've never uh, strayed away from our core risk appetite and we we, we want to keep that tight and work within that to make sure that the bank continues to prosper So through this covid period 
many of our return ratios, which we spoke about uh, three years ago, were actually delivered even higher than what we had promised. And what is heartening is, while doing this, we made sure that our coverage ratio went up by 25%. One person is about 40 crores. So we improved our coverage ratio by 25% in this, in this period, and yet delivered or over-delivered on some of the metrics. Uh, we do want to make sure that our NPAs remain absolutely on the, uh, you know, the right top quadrant, best in class. So what are we focused on? Personally, me and the entire senior team, we think about it as three ends. One is while we continue to make sure that the net NPA or the net, you know, sort of NPA holds uh, within our promised range, continues to be top quality. There are two things that is often never spoken about is one is net promoter score. We measure that like a hawk. It's my goal sheet, it's my every team member right up to the junior most colleague, NPS. We want our customers to be raving fans. We put everything in the bank behind that to make sure that our NPS is and will continue to be top tier. It's a big promise, but we are putting ourselves on the line to make sure that we deliver that promise on every instance, every occasion. And it's not just customers, we want to try and bring that in to various facets of how the bank works. So the net promoter score, and I firmly believe if you get our NPAs the way it should be, net promoter score in place, I do believe we will be able to deliver what we have set ourselves more than doubling our net worth in the next three years. So if you will, if you remember what we're talking about is the three ends of the bank. Continue to be top tier in net, promote, uh, uh, net NPA, highest or best in class NPS, and certainly this will lead us to being more probably doubling our net worth, which is what all of us are keen and in, you know, certainly the harder aspect of business, which uh, often you know, is the most discussed item. I think we have a great opportunity to double. And I think if we do that and do that well, we have a fighting chance to be in the top five private sector banks in the country. Uh, we are not leaving anything behind to make sure that the bank crosses, uh, gets into the top five private sector banks. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but I do believe, I do believe we have the smarts and the key, uh, capability in the team. The team, as you will see, uh, bats quite deep, uh, is quite experienced, has the energy, the enthusiasm to stay the course to be a bank that's you know, counted to be in the top five private sector banks. Uh, I think Lubna mentioned about how we are a bank that's been a great place to work. I'm, uh, you know, for a bank that has a history of one kind of work from one geography, today to be counted as a great place to work, and three years in running, and to be a great place to work, the only Indian bank, and I underline, the only Indian bank to be in the top 60 in Asia is Federal Bank. And that is not a mean achievement. <laughs> and this doesn't happen by accident. This happens because there's a sort of a drumbeat of the organizations to make sure these things are real. So I say with great confidence and great passion that our journey to being the most admired is not an accident. It will happen. We will make sure that our NPS is what we want it to be. We will continue to be a great place to work. And frankly, if all this happens, we will be amongst the top five private sector banks in the country. And that's what I hope and pray we will be able to show to you today uh, through all the presentations. So once again, thank you very much for being here. And I'm sure it's going to be a very productive day. Have a good day. Thank you.